New York, the Traders Expo. I'm Adrian Mans. I'm here today with uh, Yarshok Yarlagata. That's a that's a tough one, but I think I got it right. Yeah. And he's with Delphian, and we were actually just talking about he's he's involved in a sort of statistical process control of uh, market behavior. So very near and dear to my heart, since we do a lot of work with uh, statistics in our own trading. It's a little bit different than the stuff that I've talked about in the past. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how you build models and uh, you know what your models accomplish over time? Well, first we do two things. Uh, one is predictive analytics model, which will tell us the direction of the stock, and there are only two directions, up or down. And also the second thing we do is we measure the magnitude of the momentum in that in that particular direction. At the same time, when we are predicting a bullish direction, we'll give the price targets where to take the profits off on the top side and it's going to be a target one for the conservatives and we give an aggressive target for the aggressive aggressive style of trading and at the same time we give a st stop loss also using statistical models and uh, so and, and we are about 65% uh, accurate on the target one uh, which is which we are definitely proud of and directionally we are about 80% accuracy mm -hmm. sometimes what happens is we miss the target one by a penny Right. And and by and by mathematics, we, it didn't reach that, right? So that's what that's what the 80% target in the direction, and then the penny miss could make do drop it down to a 65% accurate on the target hit. And uh, once you know the direction, once you know the uh, target, and we also give a time frame in what time frame like we are looking that to happen. I was just going to ask you. So what, what's the typical holding period for a stock? In the Typically around us, anywhere between seven trading days to a 40, uh, 40 trading days, and uh, it's a ballpark. But but uh, if I'm buying an option, I always add 30 days to whatever the system says. Mm -hmm. That way I have more little more room to play with, and uh, and also I always want to exit the option before uh, before in the last uh, 20 days. I don't keep the long options in the last 20 days because of the time decay is exponential and you start losing money right. at that point like so. So how do you think the current, uh, you know, the market volatility and all these these heavy swings that we're having, yeah. are those going to be outliers in the statistical model? Are you going to co-vary those out of the out of the equation or are you going to... Yeah, the machine learning is going to learn, uh, look at the current volatility and uh, some of the past volatility and do the correlation metrics mm -hmm. and then incorporate that in the target process. Sometimes like uh, a stock can become, I mean Amazon used to be a, a, a non-violent stock. And and, uh, and the in between, uh, I mean, last two three years, every day it moved, started moving up twenty dollars, thirty dollars, uh, and fifty dollars. I mean, it's not it's not a surprise Amazon moving fifty up or down right. in the in the past two three years. Suddenly last year, like it became uh, a, almost a flat stock for about uh, four months or so in the starting July in the second half of last year mm -hmm. until it broke uh, broke down broke up right until right. it break up. So. Uh, this machine learning target model understands that particular volatility sentiment, what is there, and it also looking at uh, how much momentum is coming from the institutions, and uh, and that's what it it, uh, it it will take to determine what should be the uh, what should be the levels uh, in that statistical model. Then we apply the confidence intervals uh, to that particular calculations. So it's, it's actually measuring institutional activity, or it's inferring institutional. It, activity? Yeah, it refers to that institution. How much of a net flow net flow in and net flow out, and is it a net positive or a net negative? And uh, that is one of the factors. But there is a lot of other factors we look at it also. The only thing we haven't enhanced the model yet is uh, uh, the categorizing the news and uh, the news activity and the scoring model is not done yet, but that is a next level enhancement like so. But other than that, I think mostly we pretty much got it with, a, uh, when we tested with uh, with the right around, uh, I mean, uh, uh, 400, 500 stocks when we are modeling, uh, I mean, it's it came to around 80% uh, uh, success rate. Yeah. And we can't go beyond that one from a statistical standpoint. Uh, so it, it, it will become a for, force-fitting model and uh, to make it work. But is it going to work in future? Yeah. If you force-fit now, it may not work in future, right? So let me pick so everybody, you know, people who follow what I do, they know you know one of my darlings as far as an intraday trader is, is Apple. Mm -hmm. Did did you folks predict any kind of uh, price targets on Apple? I'm sure it was one of the, the stocks you modeled, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so right now, a few days back, it went into a mild pullback uh, state, a mild pullback status, a few days back, and uh, and it hit the aggressive target down on the uh, mild pullback, 
and when it hit the target, then it started going back up again. So yeah. that's that's how the model works also. Because when it reaches the target levels, they act like a resistance, and uh, uh, when it, when it hits the resistance, it goes back up again. Sometimes it blows blows through the resistance, but again, like it has to do a mild pullback, test it again. That is when when it blew, like then that strong that is a strong signal. But uh, but all our uh, modeling is based on the daily time frame, not on the intraday. Sure. So it's mostly used for a swing trading, not for right. the not for the day trading. Like yeah. That. Well, that's that's great. I'm a big fan of, of statistical modeling in the market, so that's very interesting. So, if viewers would like to learn more about the, the models and the predictive validity and, and uh, all of that, how do they get get in touch with you? Yeah, they can go to DelphianTrading.com and uh, so, so, so either subscribe or fill out a demo form, and they can. Uh, one of our option strategists will talk to them, and if you uh, if you are a, if you are doing only stock, not options, you can tell them that you want only the stock portions of the demo. Then they they, they know how to steer the demo for the stock side of it. Okay, <clears throat> fantastic. All right, there you have it. It's worth looking at. I think I'm going to look at it myself. And uh, thank you, Ashok, for joining me. And I will be back in a minute with more from the Traders Expo in New York.